Hey guys, Redbeard here. Uh, got in from San Antonio this afternoon. Uh, before I left, we had the issue with uh, Waffles decided she wouldn't run anymore. Anyway, I found the fuel line was very soft. I bought some uh, reinforced fuel, fuel line uh, for the pickup. And then I actually found a spool of uh, some braided uh, push, push lock. And so anyway, we went with that. So what I've got going on is without pulling the radiator, I uh, pulled the cover here over the fuel tank. And then if you walk with us around here, <laughs> the new fuel line still just run out on the floor. Uh, we actually pulled everything apart internally, popped up the filler neck and everything, and resealed all of that from outside the vehicle. So we didn't end up having to pull the fuel tank, and that's a good thing because the fuel tank was completely full. I did get nine gallons pumped out, uh, so anyway, I think that's going to take care of our issue. So what I got to work on tonight is I got to figure out how to get uh, trim the cover up, get it put back in place. I'll route this fuel line down to the pump. We'll get everything tied back in, and then I'm uh, going to give it a shot and see if she'll fire up. But I did get the battery charged. I do have uh, still have temporary power down here. We got a few things we're still working through on all that. But anyway, uh, we'll get it sorted through, sorted out, and uh, go from there. But anyway, guys, uh, keep up, uh, keep track. And I think uh, tomorrow night, uh, we're not going to make Wolf Springs. Like, I got too much going on. I'm not going to be able to make it tomorrow. Uh, but I think uh, we will get out on some trails tomorrow night. We'll try to get some good video. Uh, not just running around. We'll actually stop and focus on some obstacles and whatnot. So maybe it'll be some decent footage tomorrow night. Anyway, uh, check back. We'll see how this is going. Hey, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. So, got the uh, fuel all sorted out. Got the new line run to the filter. Uh, can't find any leaks. I modified the uh, top plate so it wouldn't rub on that line. Uh, mm, guys, uh, the whole, got it done, it tried to hit better, but it was still just wasn't hitting right, uh, I got concerned about the timing, uh, but the distributor doesn't appear to have moved, and I just couldn't imagine the timing jump backing it out of the garage, so I haven't checked the timing yet, uh, I'm gonna need to wait till tomorrow when I got somebody down here to, uh, uh, check it with me. Uh, I guess I can do it now because the good news is it starts and runs. So I took nine gallons of fuel out. I'm going to go ahead and transfer six gallons back in. Um, this handy transfer pump with rechargeable batteries, it's pretty nice. It'll transfer a whole tank and uh, pretty quick. So anyway, uh, I got my vent right here. But anyway, uh, so what I did, I pulled the spark plugs out. I uh, always go for the simple first, and I uh, didn't follow my own rule. And I'm running some, uh, they're Autolite Iridiums. And uh, I, don't, I don't think they're the right plug for this, for this engine. Uh, because my gaps were at about 65, 70 thousandths. Uh, so it did really eat off the, uh, the tips. So I regapped them all to 32. Uh, I don't know if that's correct or not. I just uh, compressed the gaps. And what do you know, it fired up. It fired up right away. So I think our whole issue through all of that was nothing more than the spark plugs were weak. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to transfer this fuel in. I'm going to call it a night. And uh, what I got left to do tomorrow uh, before I go test run it I gotta hook up those vacuum lines for the transmission. Uh, hopefully that takes care of having to rev it so high. I gotta believe that the uh, rev it high is what ate those plugs off. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little homework on that. I'll probably just grab uh, some NKGs tomorrow and throw them in and uh, we'll call it good. Uh, look at that, it's already transferred. Uh, well, nope, we still got a little bit to go. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm tired of spilling fuel so these little uh, battery power transfer pumps are pretty sweet, uh, work really good. I use uh, two rechargeable batteries that just plug right in. Uh, they got a slot, uh, 
C-type charger built into them. And it uh, works really good. Um, Sammy Mog, you know, fuel tanks sit up really high. I got tired of climbing up on the fender to put fuel in it. So uh, this, this thing right here just stays in the trailer. Uh, and when we got to transfer fuel, we just do it with this. So it works pretty good. Um, I've got no complaints with it. I use it to transfer the fuel out of the tank as well. Uh, Koo come down and gave me a hand. I couldn't have got it without him. Uh, my, my paws are just too big to work in a, where we were trying to work. So uh, we worked together and pulled that uh, top plate out. Uh, Retightened all our fittings. Everything looks good at this point. Like I said, I can't find any leaks. And uh, anyway, we're about done transferring this right here. So it's about uh, it's about two gallons a minute, gallon and a half, two gallons a minute. It's not bad. Um, and like I said, it sure beats spilling fuel all down the side of your rig. And it comes in real handy on the razor. I don't know if you ever try to fill up a razor, but that gas cap is just, look at that, we're done. Uh, that gas filler on the razor is, uh, it's tricky to get the right angle, especially with these stupid new fuel cans. I got a couple of the flexible neck that are a little bit better. But uh, anyway, guys, I'll come down here in the morning, uh, put all the plate bolts back in, throw some fresh plugs in it. I did get the exhaust mocked up. Well, mocked up. It's installed. Um, it's definitely quieter than what it was with the open pipe. Um, we'll see. It fits nice. It's going to clear the linkage. I don't foresee there being any issues with it, but I am going to have to drive it around and see, uh, just where we're at on the noise, right? It's hard to gauge idling in the shop. But, uh, let me, uh, put this up. We'll start it up real quick. Uh, just take a second here and, uh put this over out of the way and uh, put my little boat fill back in here and I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up uh, I won't rev it it's almost midnight I don't want to bother the neighbors they don't live that close but uh, no sense pushing it so let's see here I do have a slight vacuum leak. I have that hose cut and I just put a bolt in it to seal it off. So we don't have a great seal, but uh, definitely got that uh, ricey tone to it. So anyway, we'll be ready to run with the Miata before long. So look guys, uh, have a great evening. I uh, hope you're enjoying the weekend and hopefully we get out and play in the woods a little bit tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Saturday. It's about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, great news, uh, she shifts. She shifts really, really nice actually. Uh, comes out of first gear at right at like 31, 3200 RPM. It's a little high, but it's only a three speed automatic. And she don't make a lot of power. So she's gonna have to rev a little bit harder. Um, <laughs> the uh, vacuum line I was looking at the other day was a vent line. It just did not make sense to hook in there. I finally found the vacuum modulator. It's tucked up behind a brace on the back of the transmission. Uh, sure enough, dirt daubers all the way through the line. Um, don't have my compressed air in the shop, so I had to run uh, air off the Sammy Mog. It's one perk I have an onboard air, and I was able to blow the line out. So I got the line blown out, replaced a bunch of the rubber hosing. Um, I sprayed everything with brake clean. Not finding any vacuum leaks, uh, according to the idle. But uh, we'll do a little walk around on this. It's out here idling in the yard. It's actually idling in the background right now. So. That muffler is way better, way better than what it was. Is it what I want? Uh, not quite. But for the space constraints, she's going to have to work. Uh, the wife's going to go pick me up some uh, NKG uh, iridiums I got ordered. We're going to try to change those plugs out. It does have a little bit of a stutter under load. Uh, she's probably running a bit rich. She's burning a lot of crap out. She's set for a long time. So I don't know if the other plugs were actually the right plugs, right? So I just bought them. I never checked the gap or nothing. Um, oddly enough, looking in the manuals, 32 is the proper gap. So I got lucky last night when I picked 32. But uh, we're going to re-gap re some uh, new plugs, throw them in this afternoon, and uh, she can be ready to go on the trail. So I'm going to pull the Sammy Mog out here in a moment, and I'm going to pull the razor in. I got a new hard top to put on the razor. Well, it's not new. It's used. It's actually for a 1,000, a uh, newer one. 
So we may have to modify that a bit, but we're gonna try to get that mounted up for the kid today. <laughs> I bought it for him for Christmas. Uh -huh. So anyway, we're gonna try to make that work. But uh, give me just a second, we'll do a little walk around. I'll show you what that muffler looks like. Don't laugh too hard, guys. Uh, and we'll go from there. Here we are, guys. This is at idle. Really doesn't sound too bad. Uh, oil pressure, yes, some. Look at that, so this is a contact thermometer on the uh, thermostat housing, okay? So is it accurate? Probably not. Is it a good indication of what's going on? You bet. So, honestly, my coolant lines are doing 90% of the cooling at this point, those extended cooling lines, because I have very minimal uh, heat going through the radiator. So I do have some heat, and yeah, we got ice cold coming out, so. Everything's working, the water pump's pumping, everything's working. Uh, she really doesn't sound bad. And uh, we'll go for a little ride here in a while when I get the new plugs in it. I gotta put some air in that rear tire. Uh, we've rehashed that enough times, I'm not going into it. But uh, mounted a little KC dome light, definitely wanted to try red. Uh, I'm gonna move it up here by the mirror because with that red filter on there, it's not quite bright enough, I don't think. Listen to that fury, man. So anyway, guys, I'm going to crawl underneath here. We're kind of working on some tight constraints with this exhaust. And there she be. Look at that big old fart tip. So, man, it's even blued from the heat. Oh, my goodness. That is so sexy. Anyway, uh, it clears my links. That's what I wanted. Uh, I couldn't get the clamp to work. It would not clamp on, so I took my grinder and I buffed like a relief V in the adapter and the muffler itself. And then I hammered that clamp home and everything bit up tight. Uh, I say it's temporary. It may be permanent. I don't know. Uh, it's a lot better than what it was, so that's what matters. And I don't see it hitting any of the linkage or the drive shaft or anything during articulation. That was my biggest concern. Uh, obviously, I'd rather have it come out the back end, but uh, we don't always get what we want. So anyway, but guys, it sounds way better. Very relieved to have it shifting, and I'll be real excited to get some new plugs in here. We'll see what it sounds like. But look at that. That water temperature just hanging right out. Been idling over here all this time. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any temperature issues. Uh, I'd like for it to have a little more oil pressure, warm idle, but considering it got down to like four pounds one night, I'll take 20. Anyway, guys, uh, Waffles lives. We'll talk to you later.